Hey YouTubers, welcome back. It's going to be a little quick video based on a crank relearn. Pretty much this is a 2006 Chevy Tahoe LT 5.3 liter engine, flex. This uh, truck had the engine replaced with the remanufactured. It also had the harmonic bouncer replaced. So whenever you disturb the crankshaft position, you must do a crank relearn. Also, by if you replace the crankshaft position sensor or the PCM, you must perform this crank relearn. So I'm using my OTC Encore. I'm going to go into special test. PCM. So I'm going to go ahead and select the crankshaft position variation relearn. So it's going to go through a series of tests or steps, I mean. So warning, high RPM required to for tests. The next screen is a list of calibration RPM settings. So it tells you for four cylinder, six cylinder, I mean, uh, yeah, four cylinder V6 or V8. It tells you the parameters on the RPM limit. Here we go. The temperature must be 158 degrees or more, in which we are. Set parking brake, block drive wheels, start an idle engine. So here we go. Press and hold brake pedal. Okay. Hit continue. So waiting for crank enable. I'm gonna hit start. Turn off the ignition, cycle the key to the off and then back to on. Turn off the AC. Start and idle the engine and, and then apply and hold the brake pedal. Vehicle must be in park neutral with drive, wheels blocked and parking brake applied. There we go. So I'm going to hit up, uh, apply the brake and hold. Accelerate to wide open, release, there we go. Test completed. As you saw, the limit was 4,000 RPMs for it to actually relearn. Test complete, continue. So that's pretty much it. A crankshaft position variation relearn. It's a 2006 Chevy Tahoe LT 5.3 liter engine flex. Hopefully this is uh, useful for anyone out there. Alright, 